for the sign of Leo, hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. And it's paired with the Ace of Wands. Now this Lover's card is beautiful. Beautiful card in the tarot. It's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. So it's possible that you're going to start to feel really ambivalent about a relationship or situation in your life. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now, in general, the thing to do is within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some, some people say there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. But it's saying that when you get the lover's card, it's safe to choose love. Yeah, this is a great union right here. It's a coming together. And it's paired with the Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is showing some type of new beginning. Usually very positive ones. It could be in the realm of accomplishments and could be related to work, career, family, romance. Some type of really grand new beginning. And if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are likely to get much better very soon. This card, it's about being upbeat, optimistic, and hopeful about your future with a really good cause. You're likely to be feeling quite energetic and positive, or you will be feeling that way soon. And I say this because if you see this wand, it's in the, it's in the air, it's, in the, it's above the clouds, it looks like. And it just, it's just not sitting there, it's burst into the clouds really fast. So... You'll be feeling really good and energetic. Um, you should be feeling that way soon. Or you could be feeling that way now with this Ace of Wands showing up in your reading. Also, it tells you that um, now is a good time to start something new. So basically for the present time, Ace of Wands and Lover's card, there could be a new love coming your way. And it's not just a, a new love, but it's a some type of coming together. It's a union. It's falling in love, this lover's card. It's a deep love, a partnership, the strength of two. It sounds like that soulmate or twin flame type energy. Someone could be coming towards you like this, or you could be dealing with someone already like this. Um, but it brings, this card, it brings love in capital letters to the center stage of your life. And because with the Ace of Wands, it brings about new beginnings, very positive new beginnings, and you'll you'll you'll, you'll be feeling really passionate, and you'll have a lot of will. So this is great for the present time. I like this coming up for June for you, Leos. So if you're dealing with someone now, they see you as the King of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles. Now this King of Pentacles, it speaks about success in money matters, perhaps. And I say money matters because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that's about cash, coins, finance, income. Pentacles means money. So success in money matters. And it's a sign that now is really not a time to be a maverick. Now is the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when it stands for actual man in your life, it's referring to a very masculine man. Could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. If it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is a man. This is a man who you can believe in and trust in absolutely. So they see you as wanting success with it with them or wanting this connection to be successful um, they can see you as really stable secure and committed you want to commit you want to secure this connection now because it's with the three of Pentacles which is a positive card in the tarot it's overall good it's overall a good card in the tarot. Overall, it means you're doing well. Overall. 
it tells you that the people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts and they notice the quality of work that you do even if you don't get a paycheck. It tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on the right track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. You will not have to do that. So they also see you as offering some benefits. I don't know if you're financially secure or you could just want to Or you could just, or they could just be seeing you in a really positive light. Yeah. Posit they see you in a very positive way with this Three of Pentacles. And they see you wanting success in this connection with the King of Pentacles. They see you as very stable. Very stable with this King of Pentacles. And you, you want success in this connection and... You're willing to bring teamwork to this connection with the Three of Pentacles here. And, um, yeah, so they see you as really stable. And you want to work on this connection and secure it. So you must, they must think you really like them. That's how they see you. So you see them as this... Four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. The Four of Cups is about wishful thinking. And that's what this guy is doing on this. He's sitting on the grass. This card that's... The Four of Cups is the card where the word says, You see them? The card that's right above that. That's the Four of Cups. It's about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now. And to count your many blessings that we each currently experience. And not to worry too much about what could be. Because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure that you're counting your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life has to do with where we put our focus. So put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So you could see them with some regret. Yeah, Yeah, you see them spending a lot of time just wishing things were different. And you also see them like the Wheel of Fortune, which reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else, changes. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But even that's okay. Roll with any changes and think positive. So you see them in a cycle whereas they could have some, they could have some good fortune coming towards them. That's how you see them. You can see them changing with the will of fortune. Yeah, they, you can see them at a turning point with this Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, when it talks about relationships, it's possible that a relationship needs to be renegotiated. Or, it could probably be, probably no longer suiting your needs. It doesn't mean it's over, but it needs to have action taken to make sure it makes it. So they have some regrets and they're in a cycle where they're probably changing. They could be experiencing some good fortune with this will of fortune here. But they may they may be trying to renegotiate or try to figure out if this connection is is still workable or what should they do and they have regrets so I don't know I don't know if you guys had a fight or something but you see them as having regrets I don't know what happened something happened whereas they right now they're just wishing something was different 
And because the Wheel of Fortune is there, they could be in a cycle where they're changing. They're just maybe they're just not the same person they used to be when you first met. So that's interesting. Let's see what let's see why it's happening. So we've got this Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords is the card at the top. Now this Ten of Swords, that's a lot of swords, Leo. A lot of swords. Eighteen swords there. Jeez. Okay, the Ten of Swords. It's a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. So when this cut, when this uh, Ten comes up, as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you, or trust that a situation is stable, uh, the answer would be no. Absolutely not. So try to keep in mind that when one door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you, so trust yourself and trust the universe. So someone feels like uh, there's trust issues in they could be feeling like the connection has failed. They've been defeated. Something's not quite right with this Ten of Swords. That's how someone's feeling. And it's with the Eight of Swords. You could be holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future or because you're afraid of getting hurt by a new situation or maybe for no reason at all. Think through what it is you're afraid of because the truth of the, of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So you could be stuck in your head about your person or some situation that has happened. So it looks like you're at a point of reevaluating this person or this connection also, Leo. So it looks like they're, they have some regrets. You're reevaluating. Um, you could be sticking with someone that's actually bad for you with the Eight of Swords showing up here. Yeah, or you could be thinking it's better than nothing. That's what the Eight of Swords means when it comes to love questions. And then the Ten of Swords, uh, there's trust issues. You or your person is no longer trusting this connection. So something happened and your person is having a lot of regrets. I don't know if they cause the trust issues and now you're trying to figure out should you move on or they're trying to figure out should they move on. And your person looks like they're in a cycle where they're changing. They're probably, I'm picking up, they're probably different a different person than they were when you first met and they're experiencing like I said regrets but they see you wanting to have success with this connection or maybe they see you as wishing it was successful once upon a time maybe they maybe they see you as yeah wishing it had worked out and they, like I said, they see you offer benefits with the Three of Pentacles. I don't know if you're financially secure. If you're the one um, paying all the bills. Well, the Three of Pentacles is about, yeah, offering benefits. But, um, yeah, so they see you as um, wanting teamwork or you bought teamwork to this connection and you wanted it to be successful. So it could go a few ways. They see you as someone who bought teamwork to this connection. You wanted it to work out really well, but it looks like they have regrets. They're changing. Like I said, they could be in a cycle where they're no longer the same person they were when you first two met, when you two first met. And now there's some trust issues in this connection. 
and uh, someone feels like um, uh, it's ruined and they're stuck in their head this could be you or your person but let's not forget that for the present time there's a new beginning that's waiting to happen it's right around the corner yeah with this ace of wands there's some type of new beginning and it's a new love yeah it's not just a new love it's a soulmate type of love that's coming in and it's around the corner that's what the Ace of Wands is saying, and that's what the Lover's card is saying. So there's some deep love, a deep love connection that's just waiting to happen for you, Leo. And it's showing up for the present time, coming up in June. So it looks like this situation you're in with your person, it's at a make or break. It's, it looks like it's, with, those, with all those swords there, it looks like it's pretty ruined. Those are 18 swords, if you put them all together. But, like I said, the good thing about this reading is that there's a, a, a deep union that's right, right around the corner. They could come in for some of you Leos in June, maybe towards the end of June. The time is fluid, so it's showing really, really beautiful here. It's because it's with the Ace of Wands. That's mean it's 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 ready. It's in the make. It's no longer in the making. It's about to arrive. Okay, so some grand new union, twin flame type union. Okay, and if you're the type of person that says, oh, I don't get any type of love like that, never have in my life, then maybe it's a good opportunity, because a lover's card can be about a good opportunity, a darn good opportunity that's coming in. But, um, yeah, or you could be falling in love. So, it's something new, though. It's, it's not, it doesn't look like anyone from the past. It doesn't look like it's this person that's you've got trust issues with and they're changing it's not this person this um, ace of wands is about new new beautiful beginnings on several levels and this lover's card it's twin flame or soulmate so keep your eyes open Leo's if you can do that it looks like you could be going through some stuff with the person you're already with so something good is right around the corner Right around the corner, right around the corner.